Hi, my name is Val. I'm a 61 year old Irish coach. I've coached for the last 30 years at all levels from grassroots to elite amateur, from four years of age to 44 years of age. I've enjoyed every minute of it and I've learned a lot and hopefully people have learned from me. Is sport just a game? No, sport is not a game. Sport is a journey. And you're privileged, I was privileged and honoured to be a coach because it put me in a position where I could help people develop. I could help them develop hope. I could help them develop as people. I could help them develop self-esteem, self-belief. I could teach them values of hard work, honesty and excellence. But most of all, I could bring fun and happiness and I could be there to listen and to help them. Overall, it is not about the medals and the trophies. It was the people I met along the way, the people I was lucky enough to be in a position to help and for them to help me when I was down to. Um, inclusion in sport is hugely important. Um, I suppose our club is very special because it goes from people who are serving long prison sentences to people who are actuaries, kidney transplant specialists, uh, consultants, medical consultants, all sorts of really professional people. So we do the whole spectrum. Inclusion is really important for those people coming from backgrounds. And inclusion for me is looking past the gender, looking past where people come from, looking past what creed they are, looking past what they believe in, like looking past and just seeing the human being in front of you, seeing the player and saying, yeah, hopefully I will be able to help this person develop. My story about inclusion really relates to two Joes. One Joe was brought up in a working class background, poor enough background. He's now married with two kids, has a lovely house, a great future and a great career. His older brother was two years older. He's dead 10 years from drugs. I said to Joe, what's the difference? Joe said, I was included. I became part of the club. I love football. I listened to people wanting to go to college. That gave me ambition. That changed my career. The other Joe was born with quadriplegia. He had no movement in any of his limbs. He couldn't see. He had a little bit of hearing. And he was asked to go to the Special Olympics. His parents were a bit sceptical and looked and said, but he can't really move anything and he can't really do anything. However, Perhaps that was the greatest lesson for the parents. Because the greatest lesson for the parents was Joe went to the Special Olympics, did his best, but most of all, smiled and laughed all day. And the parents, one of them who was me, learned more about inclusion that day than in all the rest of my life. Uh, inclusion is hugely important. And so therefore, look past all the things and just see the people. And remember to include the parents because the parents of people with disabilities are with diversity, right? Need to be included just as much. They need to feel part of the tribe just as much as anybody else. So be mindful of that. And finally, advice. God, I've no advice for you at all, to be quite honest, Jeff. Um, all I've learned through my journey of coaching was the more I coached, the more I knew, the less I knew. It's been a great journey and hopefully you'll continue after this COVID. But always remember, you are the example. You have a great privileged position. You're in a privileged position to influence, develop people emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, and socially. God bless and stay safe.